Hey guys, Erica here and welcome back to Independent Parenting. And a common question I used to get while working remotely was how was I able to handle my responsibilities with the young child at home? Now I have to admit it was quite challenging, but I found ways to balance it all. So today's topic is about managing remote work while taking care of young children at home. Now, if you're trying to balance work deadlines and child care responsibilities while working remotely, maybe you just started working remotely, you're trying to understand it all. Or if you're a parent of small children looking for remote work and need some advice on how to manage it, you're in the right place. So let's get started. All right, guys, so first things first, let's talk about creating a kid-friendly workspace clear out things that are not kid friendly. <laughs> One of my remote positions was during the pandemic and daycares were not an option for me. So I knew that I would have to create a space in my home for learning and playtime. So let me kind of give you a brief uh, or brief description or maybe a little idea of what my apartment looked like. And it doesn't look like this picture right here, although I wish it did. <laughs> but I had a two bedroom apartment that was structured with my son and I rooms next to each other towards the back of the apartment. And it was a hallway that was leading into the living room area. And with the space that I had available, I made sure to create a space for him that wasn't too far away from me, but far enough so that I could minimize the sound of the noise he would make while playing. Because, you know, I have a boy and he's loud and he has trucks and he wants to bang and it was just a mess. Now, I would recommend that you designate an area where you can work efficiently and your little ones can play safely. So maybe add a splash of color or some fun decorations to make it more inviting for them. Consider organizing your workspace with bins for toys so they have their own little corner to explore while you tackle those emails and work projects. Now, if your space doesn't allow you much room, well, you have to do what you got to do. <laughs> so if it ends up where your child is right there on your lap while you're working and you have to use like phones for communication, try noise canceling headphones to mute their little playful noises because babies are going to be babies. All right, guys. So next up, establishing a routine is key. So establish a realistic daily schedule that includes work hours and breaks. This is very important. Having a routine helps create stability for both you and the kiddos. You can plan your most focused work during their nap times or quieter moments. Uh, make a visual schedule for your kids so that they know when is work time and when is play time. And this adds to structure and helps them understand what's going on during your day. Now, I posted a schedule in my son's room right on his wall where he could see it whenever he woke up in the morning. Uh, we actually colored it together. We made it bright and playful. And I explained to him what needed to happen throughout the day so that it could lead to structure. Um, he was young at the time and he wasn't really trying to hear it, but um, I had to make it known that, hey, we need structure. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's talk about leveraging educational entertainment. Man, this was a lifesaver for me. And when you need to focus, consider educational games or shows that keep your little ones engaged. It's a win-win because they learn and you get some uninterrupted work time. Interactive learning apps or shows that promote creativity can be fantastic. You might discover they're having too much fun or, well, they're just having so much fun <laughs> that they won't even notice you're on that important conference call, which is, which is cool. However, I do not uh, recommend that you allow the apps and devices to be used so much to the point where it appears that those things are what's raising the kids. They can be used to leverage education and fun, but in my experience, kids shouldn't be left to their devices for long periods of time, as this can encourage dependency. And you never know what they have scrolled onto. It might be something that is very inappropriate, so just keep a watchful eye. All right, so my next suggestion is to engage your kids during virtual meetings. Now, virtual meetings can be tricky with the curious kiddos, and my suggestion would be for you to try engaging them positively uh, during those video calls and maybe introduce them to your team briefly or set up a work buddy system with a special toy. So keep a box of quiet toys near your desk for these moments, guys. Um, something as simple as coloring books or building blocks can keep them entertained without causing disruption. I have found that colleagues and managers don't mind because at this point, it's pretty understandable that many parents are likely to have their child at home while working remotely. So you're, you're likely not to get negative feedback from this. The managers do it too. 
<laughs> I know my manager did. My manager was real cool, by the way, actually. You know what? So I know I've had a lot of cool managers in my day, but my boss would always bring her baby on a video conference and it was no problem. We would have these uh, huddles in the morning and usually she'll, she'll bring her baby on and we say hi to the baby and it was a whole thing and then we get into the meeting. So people are not really tripping like they used to trip about having your kids working with you and you know, it's, it's not a big deal. And I found that colleagues and managers, you know, they just, they, they actually want you. <laughs> they invite you and your children. Hey, bring your kid. Let me see your kids. They get all in your business and you know, Hey, it, 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 it's cool. So, you know, I wouldn't trip on it. If that's something that is of concern with you, you have a baby, you're thinking about going, you know, remotely and you're like, okay, well, I don't know. It's going to be too much of a hassle. It's going to be interruption. No, you'll be surprised. It's not going to be uh, too much of a hassle at all. It's going to be actually more beneficial for you, especially as a single parent. So don't worry about that. <laughs> now, embracing flexibility and adjusting expectations. That's the next thing that we're going to talk about. One thing I noticed uh, with having a small child at home while working remotely is that flexibility is key. It was, it's another key. It might be the highest key above it all, actually. I know I said the other one was key, but this one's probably a key because, you know, understand that interruptions, they will happen, right? And, and that's okay. But try not to get upset at the kids or embarrassed around your colleagues or customers. You know, just adjust your expectations and know that perfection doesn't have to be your goal. But balance should keep you, you know, kind of, I guess, less stress. <laughs> right. So just just understand, really, it's just about a mindset. You know, don't worry about what other people are going to be thinking. You, you have to handle your responsibilities at home. And remember, it's okay to ask for support whenever you need it, you know, whether it's a friend, a family member, or even a fellow parent, building a support system is so, so helpful, guys. I definitely suggest that you do that. <laughs> now, if you found these video uh, tips helpful, then, you know, hey, give it a thumbs up, share it with other single parents who might benefit, and visit my website at independentparenting.com for more helpful content because I did do a blog um, that gives you guys a little bit more uh, information on working at home with a baby, actually, if you have a really, really young baby. And so, you know, hey, it's doable. You can get through it. It's not a big deal. Actually, real quickly, one of the things that I remember stressing about so much when I was working from home was um, because my son was so loud and he was so playful. I mean, he was being a child <laughs> and I will be on the phone because one of my jobs actually required me to be on the phone and another job I didn't have to be on the phone so whenever I was on the phone I was just like oh my god I don't want the clients to hear my son in the background I'm so embarrassed and so I had to get over that real quick because I ended up feeling all kind of crazy thoughts in my mind and kind of putting you know my my clients needs ahead of my child and I was like wait a minute so I had to really <laughs> really get myself together on that. So I definitely would rec recommend you guys to not trip over certain things. I mean, kids are going to be kids. And, you know, nowadays people are really just more understanding. And, you know, we don't care if they do understand <laughs> because our kids come first, but it does help that they do understand and make it a little bit more uh, gentle on your psyche, I guess. But that's all for now, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you soon in another video. Bye.